Mohammed Al Fayed. The name once conjured images of wealth, power, and the iconic Harrods department store, a tycoon who had climbed to the pinnacle of London society. But behind the glamour, a dark secret festered. Over 20 women accused Al Fayed of sexual assault and rape. The accusations paint a chilling picture of a predator. His alleged victims were often young women, many aspiring models or employees. The allegations surfaced in 2017, but the BBC documentary Al Fayed Predator at Harrods brought the scandal into the public eye. The allegations against Al Fayed describe a disturbingly consistent modus operandi. He would often approach young women with compliments and promises of mentorship. This would quickly escalate to inappropriate touching, advances and demands for sexual favours. Refusal was met with threats, intimidation and the fear of losing their jobs. One woman, Emily, recounted how Al Fayed invited her to his office under the pretense of discussing a promotion. He then allegedly groped her and made lewd comments. When she rejected his advances, he threatened to ruin her career. Another alleged victim, Sophie, was a young model when she met Al Fayed. He promised to help her career, but the relationship quickly turned abusive. She accused him of rape, claiming he forced himself on her in a hotel room. The BBC documentary also raised disturbing questions about Harrod's potential complicity in Al Fayed's alleged crimes. Some former employees claimed that the company was aware of the rumours surrounding Al Fayed's behaviour, but failed to take any action. They alleged that Harrods prioritised protecting its reputation and the powerful Al Fayed over the safety and well-being of its employees. There have been accusations that Harrods turned a blind eye to complaints, silenced victims, and even went as far as paying off some women to prevent them from going public. The documentary highlighted a culture of fear and intimidation within the company, where employees were too afraid to speak out against their powerful boss. Harrods current owners, Qatar Holdings, have denied any knowledge of Al Fayed's alleged misconduct. They have issued a public apology to the victims and pledged to cooperate with any investigations. However, for many, the company's response has been deemed too little too late. The damage, they argue, had already been done. Section 4. Voices of the Victims Brave women have come forward to share their stories. Their voices, silenced for years by fear, are finally being heard. They spoke of trauma, shame, and the impact of Al Fayed's alleged abuse. Jane, a former Harrods employee, described lasting emotional scars. She was 19 and had been working at Harrods for a few months. He invited her to his office, locked the door, and allegedly assaulted her. I felt trapped, powerless, she recalled. The incident left her deeply traumatized, and she eventually left her job. Laura spoke of the culture of silence that prevented her from coming forward sooner. Everyone knew, but no one said anything. The fear of losing their jobs and Al Fayed's power kept many silent. Section 5. The Fight for Justice Although Mohammed Al Fayed died in 2023, the fight for justice continues for his alleged victims. Some of the women are pursuing civil action against Harrods, seeking compensation for the abuse they allegedly suffered. They argue that Harrods, as Al Fayed's employer, had a duty of care to protect its employees and failed to do so. The lawsuits detail the company's alleged negligence and complicity in covering up Al Fayed's actions. These legal battles are ongoing and could have significant implications for Harrods and its legacy. A successful lawsuit could result in a substantial financial payout and further tarnish the reputation of the iconic department store. More importantly, it could bring a sense of justice and closure to the women who have suffered in silence for so long. Section 6. A Legacy Tarnished The allegations against Mohammed Al Fayed have irrevocably tarnished his legacy. The once revered tycoon is now synonymous with scandal and abuse. His name, once whispered in awe in the halls of power, is now uttered with disgust and condemnation. The scandal has also cast a long shadow over Harrods. The department store, once a symbol of luxury and prestige, is now grappling with the dark secrets of its former owner. The allegations have raised serious questions about the company's culture, its ethics, and its responsibility towards its employees. The bravery of the women who have come forward cannot be overstated. 
They have broken the silence and exposed the dark underbelly of wealth and power. Their stories serve as a stark reminder that no one is above the law and that justice can prevail, even against powerful individuals and institutions.